Welcome to Storage Migration Overview based on AWS Solutions Architect Topics by Abilead. We offer cloud service introductions exam question explanations and practicing of real exams. No storage limitation with migration. When architecting with Snow devices or with Storage Gateway, you can extend your storages without big changes. Storage Gateway provides you four different low latency gateway types for permanent use. With S3 Storage Gateway for files, you backup, archive or you use it for data lakes in S3. And your Windows file server can share your file in FSx through the FSx Gateway. If your app needs a block storage extension, you use the Volume Gateway with S3 storage or backup. Finally, the Tape Gateway provides a tape virtualization with its cloud archive. The second migration service can't leave you cold. If you have limited connections or infrastructure, you use one of the three Snow devices to ship or transfer data. With Snowcone, you process on or offline from sensors or servers with Windows Linux or Mac OS to S3 EFS or FSX Windows. If you need to move 80 terabytes in one week, you use the larger Snowball Edge device to support performance computing or to store data in S3 or EBS. And when size matters, you transport exabytes with the Snowmobile truck container, all without computing. So what's the catch? Expand your know-how with Gateway Workflow. With your file shares mapped to S3 objects, you can extend your file system to the cloud. And for S3 to perform like a file system it uses multipart upload. If you want to archive files in S3 Glacier take the following steps. First, your app gets access to your virtual gateway machine in your local data center. With it, the file share, the local cache and S3 are all available in real time. Next, you privately connect one VPC endpoint for S3 and another VPC endpoint for the gateway control plane. Last but not least, you have access to four S3 storages classes with its backup and archiving. Hold on a minute. If you like this channel and its free content to continue please subscribe it on the right bottom button. Is S3 a block storage? With ISCSI block protocols for volume and tape gateway you can store block volumes in S3. You use for example the volume gateway with S3 as the backup storage option in the cloud. For your client, you first get access to the local volume gateway virtual machine. It provides near real-time ISCSI protocols to work with S3. You then connect through one VPC endpoint to S3 and through the second VPC endpoint to the gateway control plane. In the last step, you use the S3 cloud storage features with its extensions for backup or snapshots in the EBS block storage. But how to handle your disconnected infrastructure? What lasts long will be good. With Snowball migrating virtual tapes to S3 Glacier, you extend your tape-based backup space step by step. To start, you initiate with your tape app an edge device job with using ISCSI block protocols. This uploads your data to the Snowball device into the gateway buffer and writes the data to a ready-made virtual tape. Now you ship and connect the edge device to AWS Snowball Edge. Last but not least, you store the virtual tapes in S3 standard with its features and for further archiving in Glacier Archives. But you want it more flexible and smaller. Some like it small and mighty. From your app server's sensors or machines, you can transfer via the small snow cone device and its edge location to S3, EFS or FSX windows. If you are looking for hybrid storage transfers from your Windows servers in real-time, you connect to Snowcone. You also enable the NFS file system to store imports and exports on Snowcone before the transfer. Then you use the DataSync agent task for auto-transfers between FSX and each Windows server. As a result, your connected DataSync API continuously imports and exports from FSX Windows storage. 
With the understanding of migration with Storage Gateway and the Snow family, you are ready now for more details. If you want to prepare and safely pass the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam, we recommend to also practice our real exams on Udemy. We wish you further insights with Abilid videos.